welcome to my property. This is Tibbetsville for my last name Tibbets and this is our driveway. If we look to the left we have a little raceway. At the moment my sheep are in there, that's Kenny, Dolly and Dot. This is my first paddock. I really like it because it's got the big shade sail in it which is awesome for summer. This is my second horse paddock. I like this one because it's really big. And if we go further up my driveway, there's a third paddock behind my stables. It's a smaller size which is good if the horses get fat. And now we come to my stable block. This includes a hay room, tack room, three stables, a wash bay and a float park. This is one of my horses, Hudson. He's such a sweetie. This is his paddock at the moment and it's split in half with Nellie and Ellie over here. I love this paddock because it's so close to the stables and it's really big. I also like the shade sail in it. So this is my hay room. I store all my bales of hay in here for winter. And this is my tack room which I absolutely love. As you can see I've got all my supplements on the shelf there and below them are my feed bins which I keep all my hard feed in. There's my chaff there. And then this is my main shelf for all my cleaning items. I've got some spare feed on the ground there. And then I have a fridge which I keep all my horses medicine in. Um, I've got beaut, eye ointments, antibiotics, all sorts. And then I've got a sink which is great for mixing up feed. This is my main shelf for all my gear. Uh, as you can see there's quite a lot. Um, in these boxes here I've got some brush boots and I've got all my stable boots and then I've got heaps of saddle blankets and this is my cover rack which is so good for hanging all the winter covers on and if we look to the left I've got all my halters and my bridles hanging up and then I've got my three saddles. And if we go back outside I'll show you the stables. So each stable has two locks on the main door and then a top door which I shut at night time. All the stables have a hay holder and they also have a water bucket which hangs on the wall. All my stables have a concrete base and rubber mat and glued over top. They're really great for the horse's legs. And here's some extra cover racks for wet covers to hang on. And this is my wash bay. I'm really lucky that my dad's a plumber and he installed hot water. So over the winter I can wash the horses with warm water and also make their feeds hot. I've got two hoses, one high pressure and one low. I don't have a concrete muck heap so we use flexi bins. At the moment we can't get them picked up due to the coronavirus lockdown so they are starting to overflow a little bit but usually they get picked up and replaced quite often. Here are two more of my horses. This is Nellie and this is Ellie. If we continue up the driveway we will pass the sheep yard. My family used this for sharing and drenching our sheep. And this is the paddock it backs onto, it's got four lovely big trees. And this is my final horse paddock with socks and woody in it. Here's woody coming up for a pat. And this is his paddock mate's socks. So if we keep going up the driveway we'll come to this little orchard paddock that I currently have the alpacas in and my hill paddock has our little goat family in it and this is my house. These are three of my four dogs, they are very excited to see me. If you continue walking past my house you'll come to our big barn. We store a whole lot of vehicles in here including my quad bike which I use every day to go down to the stables and we have a little room in here as well which holds a whole lot of tools and equipment. These are my cute guinea pigs that live in the backyard right by the barn. This is our swimming pool. I absolutely love the infinity edge as I hang there and watch the horses. And that's my property.